new ruling by three judges in Florida's 4th District Court of Appeals may mean changes are coming for red light camera citations. And SNN's Melissa Warren joins us now in the studio on how this could impact agencies using red light cameras right here on the Sun Coast. Melissa. Well, that ruling was in Hollywood, Florida, and the judges say the city may have bent state law by allowing a private company to issue citations. That company, American Traffic Solutions, is the same one used by Sarasota for their red light camera citations. Sarasota Police Sergeant Brian Graham says the results of this case could set a precedent for other Florida districts. If someone has the same case here, districts will usually go with another district if the ruling is sound. Um, right now, there's, there's nothing to do. We'll just wait to see what happens through the courts, and then we'll make adjustments as we need to. Charles Torito, a representative from ATS, told our partners at the Herald Tribune that each agency has a different contract with the company, and none of the local services have been questioned. His statement reads, each program has its own rules and its own contract. The decision applied only to the program in Hollywood. The ethicality of red light cameras is not what's at issue. This is an administration and procedural issue. The way it works is if a violation is captured, it is sent to the company. The company runs a tag, verifies it. It's the same vehicle. Um, they have business rules that we set what is a violation, what is not. They send us everything that they believe to be a violation. Once we get it, an officer, a sworn officer reviews it and watches the video and either determines the violation or not. And at that point, he'll approve it and um, the notice is mailed out. Now, while a police officer does approve all of those red light citations, Sergeant Graham did say that like Hollywood, the actual citations themselves are distributed by ATS. When that happens, obviously part of the contract, we pay the vendor to do the mailing. We wouldn't have to do that anymore and we would do the mailing. Sergeant Graham says the department is staying in touch with both the city attorney and the ATS attorney in the event a ruling does lead to a change in procedure. Well, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of controversy since these cameras uh, from the very beginning. Did Sergeant Graham say whether the cameras have had a benefit? Well, Sarasota began using those cameras back in December of 2011, and since then, they say the number of incidents at those sites has dropped by more than 10%. All right, certainly uh, follow the story. All right, thanks, Melissa.